Last time when I talked about uh, data types and variables, I have given some idea on what is string and how to declare a string. So in this video, I am going to talk about everything that you should know about the string. There are certain operations that can be supported by the string data types. And also there are certain built-in functions that can be used with the string. So to begin with, the first thing is you should know what is mean by the string data type. So a string is a series of characters that are enclosed inside a quotation mark. So let me give you an example. So let me create one variable to store a string data type. Create a variable country and uh, pass a string here. So this one is a variable and this variable is holding a string because Bhutan is a series of characters and uh, it was enclosed inside a quotation mark. So if I check the type of a data, so for that you have to use a built-in function type. Then you need to pass your variable here. And if I give you another example, I want to pass here 2021, the data type of a year. So now you see that uh, even though you have passed here 2021, since it is enclosed inside a quotation mark, it will be taken in as a string. Anything that is enclosed inside a quotation mark will be taken in as a string. Basically, this is how you declare a string in Python. There are two operations that can be supported by string. The first one is a string concatenation. String concatenation means joining a two strings together. So for that, uh, we have to use uh, plus operators. So let me declare another variable here to give a demonstration on what is mean by the concatenation. So let me pass another string, something like this. So I've created a variable message and then I am passing another string I love. So I want to join these two strings now. I love Bhutan. So this concept is called a string concatenation. So if I print this, so first one is you just need to pass the first variable and to concatenate this two string, you need to use a plus operator or a plus sign. And then you have to pass you another variable that is holding a string. So if I run this program, now you see I love Bhutan. That means this is how you concatenate a string. Concatenation means joining a two string. That means this message holds I love and then country holds Bhutan. That means we are joining these two strings. By the way, there is no space, so you can keep space here and then run it again. Now you see that it looks fine. This is how you concatenate a string. By the way, you can also concatenate with the string literals. That means you can add another one here. Then uh, you can pass some string literals. Please uh, visit our country, something like this. It can be done. So if I run this program, you see now I love Bhutan, please visit our country. Something like this can be done. So this concept is usually called as a string concatenation. So now this one is the one operation that is supported by the string. So the another operation is a string repetition. So strings can be also repeated. So for that, uh, we have to use a asterisk sign. So this uh, basically symbolizes a multiplication. So you can use this sign. And then I want to repeat a string. That means, uh, baby, let me try to repeat this button for five times so for that you have to pass your variable name because this variable is holding a string button so i want to repeat button five times so for that you can use a strict and then pass a number times of a number that uh, you want to see your string repeated on the output control so i want to see this button five times so i'm doing it this way so if i run this program now you see that button has been repeated for five times so I want to also repeat uh, my string literal. So let me pass some strings here. So let me pass my name and I want to see my name printed five times. So if I run this program, now you see that you see a DAO repeated for five times. So these are the two operations that can be supported uh, by the string data types. You can concatenate strings with a number. For example, let, let me pass here year and then I want to pass this as a integer. It, it was not enclosed inside the quotation mark. This will be taken as an integer. I want to concatenate this integer with a string. So what if I do in such way now? So if I run this program, you should get an error. That means you can't concatenate strings and integer. You can concatenate only strings and strings. So these are the two operations that are supported by string data types. Now, the next thing is uh, you can also find the length of the string. So for example, if you want to find how many characters are present in the string button, you can find this with the use of built-in function length. So for that, uh, you can, can use the length function and here you should pass your variable as a parameter inside this function. So if I run this program, 
you should see a number of characters okay now you see that you get an output six that means uh, the Bhutan should have six characters this is how you find a length of the string in Python so if I increase the length of a string Bhutan is yeah, something like this I love Bhutan so if, if I want to find the length of the string that is stored inside the country variable you just need to use a length and then if I run this program now you see you have a uh, 13 characters this is because one this white spaces uh, this white spaces will be also included as one characters next very important concept that you should know with regard to the string is string indexing where you can obtain a single or a individual characters from a given string so if i want to obtain just you from this string Bhutan, then you have to know the indexes so indexes can be done either in positive or in negative so let's say uh, this b is at index 0 and then uh, h is at index 1 and it goes on till the end of the string that is passed inside the variable positive indexes will always start from 0 and it goes on and then in with regards to the negative index it always start from negative 1 and then it goes from here negative 2 negative 3 and negative 4 it goes from here and in positive index it goes from 0 towards the right and this one comes towards left in negative index uh, we usually don't start from zero this is because uh, negative zero or positive zero is zero only so that's why negative indexes does not start from zero so now let me give you an example by the way you might have seen that i'm using this one for the first time this one is used to comment a block of code anything that is enclosed inside this tuple code will be taken in as a comment that means interpreter won't interpret this code this one is actually a command let me declare variable country and let me pass here Bhutan. let me try to extract t from this uh, string Bhutan. so for that you have to use a uh, string indexing so for that uh, you have to pass your variable name and indexes should be always inside a square bracket let me try to explain about the positive indexes now you see that u is at indexes 2 so if i pass here 2 and if i run this program you should get an output u how, this is how you use a positive indexing in python if i pass here 0 0 index then you should get an output b if i run this program you see that you get an b this is how you do a positive indexing so you can even try with 5 and you should get an output n okay so this is how you you do a positive indexing and similarly you can also pass a negative indexes so if i pass here negative 1 then for negative 1 we have an character n you should get an output n so if i pass here okay, negative 3 that means negative 3 we have a character t so you should get an output character t okay this is how you do a positive and a negative indexing in python now you already know about the string indexing so what if you try to change the characters inside the string so i want to change this u to o that means this one is the index 2 and i want to change this to okay maybe o so if i do something like this and if i print now you, you get a string object does not support item assignment that means once you have created a variable or a pass a string then you can't change it though you know how to use a indexing this one we call it as a immutable so strings are immutable once we have created you can't change the value so now uh, let me talk about string slicing so we are just done with uh, string indexing and uh, string slicing is obtaining a substring from a string that means in a string indexing we can only obtain a single characters but in a string slicing you can obtain a substring that means from Bhutan if you want to extract only hut then you can do using a concept called string slicing uh, you should know that uh, it can take uh, three arguments inside this square bracket this one is a starting index and then the ending index and even a step size let me demonstrate one by one so for that uh, if i want to print only h u t then first thing is uh, you should pass the starting index that means h is at one so you should pass one and then next one is ending index so if you include three here because you see that h is h and here so, so if i run this program you see that you get an output h u this one is a substring so actually we want to print hut by the way we have also given exact indexes of t but it did not print here this is because in string slicing the end of the string is always excluded so if you want to print till t then you have to include one step beyond so one step beyond the indexes so if i want to print 
HUT, then you have to include the index starting index from 1 and it should go till 4. So now if I print this, now you see that you get an output HUT. So similarly, uh, you can also try with other one. So if I want to print all, all the strings that are declared inside this country, so you can also part, do something like this. That means it starts from 0 and uh, it will go till the end. So if I run, you see that you get all the string output. This is because we are not mentioning a start and the end. Instead, we are keeping this as empty. It will print everything. If I want to print T to T A N, then uh, T is at uh, 3. That one is a starting index. And then the ending index is actually at 5. But we have to extend one step beyond. Then you get a Z output. Now let me talk about the step size. Here you can also pass third argument that is a step size. So let me try to print all okay from 0 till 6 okay it starts from 0 that means b starting is always included and the end is always excluded that's why i'm passing here 6 let me also include step size by default the step size will be 1 so if i do something like this then you should see a button printed so now what if i put step size to 2 and if i run this program you see that you get only b u a this is because it starts from 0 then it will print in the steps of 2 that means b is 0 then 1 2 that means 2 is at here u and then again 1 2 then a is printed so if i use 3 then you see that you will get only bt this is because b is at index 0 that will be always included and then at the step of 3 we have t and here we don't have an x that's why we get only a bt as an output so this one is a starting index this one is the ending index like this one is a step size same like a positive string slicing you can also do same thing with negative string slicing so let me print uh, bhu so for that the starting is at b is at negative six negative six and then the end is at bhu so i should input a little bit one step ahead so negative three and uh, let me not give a step size this one is optional so now if i run this program you get b h u b h u this is because the starting is at negative six and then it goes till negative three last step will be always excluded so that's why it will print it one step before that so that's why we get an output b h u so you can also pass a uh, step size so something like this let me pass step size of two now you see, you see that you get an output B, U. You can mix the positive and uh, negative indexes. So if I want to print from H, U, T, okay. I want to start with the positive index and then H, U, T, it starts from one and I want to go till negative two. You get an H, U, T. This is how you can also apply a mix index slicing. If you want to print a string in a reverse order, so you can print everything but for the step size you can put it negative one that means it should go from right to left so if i run this program you see that you will get a reverse string b h u t a n so if i put a positive one here then you should see all the string all the string with the steps of one this is because by default the step size is one and we are not mentioning here starting index as well as uh, we are not mentioning an ending index so that's why it will be taken from beginning till end only thing is we are mentioning a step size so that's all with uh, regard to string and uh, in the next video lesson i will be talking about uh, the method that we can use with the string so we'll see you in the next video lesson